Um, if you think it's been weird up to this point with the uh, impeachment inquiry and the decision now by uh, the speaker to go ahead and drop the articles of impeachment and submit them to the full House for a vote, if you think it's been weird, wait till this moves to the Senate. I've been reading uh, various pieces how the Republicans in the Senate have all kinds of bullshit tricks that they're going to try that has nothing to do with the, the, the situation at hand. Is Trump a goddamn gangster? Of course, the quick, simple, uh, true answer to that is yes, he is. He's a thug and a punk, not to mention his stupidity. But that's not what they're going to focus on. And I, I cannot understand this unless it's the, the 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 twin daggers that now exist in the republican party that are being used to stab all of us to death and that's the christian religion and uh the uh, uh the tax cuts uh you know you give enough tax cuts and eventually the money necessary in the treasury to uh, keep the government going uh, starts to diminish. And what's the first thing that these right-wing bastards cut? Is it the bloated defense budget? No, of course not. The first thing they go after are those programs that add to our already shredded and falling apart social safety net. So um, the tricks that these bastards have planned, apparently, for the trial are... Uh, are going to be a display of hatred against this republic, the way it is presently constituted, unlike any that we've seen. This is going to be worse than any communist has ever done about the United States. It's going to be worse than any uh, socialist has ever uh, done, according to the right-wingers, because this is going to be coming from the fascistic right religious fascists, which are the worst kind, and political fascists, which, given the right amount of firepower, probably supersede religious fascists in their evilness and their hatred and their destruction. But this is what we're facing. So um, make sure your seatbelt's fast, fastened. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've been talking about this. I don't know how we're going to come out of this. I really don't. I don't know how... This so-called union is going to come out of this un unless we wind up as the Federated States of America because we're goddamn sure not united now. And when this is over, I, I don't know. It's uh, That means we'll have to move, Kathy, <laughs> because if Georgia remains as one of the uh, – suckhole states in the union that supports this monster. Uh, and if there is a break among the states, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's just madness. And, and this Trump son of a bitch, I mean, how many of us, seriously now, seriously, without, without a bunch of rancor, how many of us warned that something like this is going to happen. We didn't know prior to the 2016 election with Trump as a Republican how bad it was going to get. We didn't know how bad it was going to get. But anyone with the sense uh, necessary to uh, float a fucking cork in a glass of water would have understood that if Trump were allowed with his Russian handlers to become president, the republic was over. And yet we still had enough people who voted for Jill fucking Stein or some other third or fourth or ninth party candidate to assist the Russians and the Trump organization in getting the bastard elected. So here we are. The worst feeling in the world for me around political issues is when there is a situation that is so clear. The outcome is so clear. You don't have to be a political science, a scientist. You don't have to have a degree in government to have understood three and a half years ago that the election of Trump would doom this republic. All you had to do was pay attention to what was being said 
pay attention to the news reports about how criminal this son of a bitch really is. Pay attention to his filthy history. Listen to all the shit that came up during the campaign. When he talked about grabbing women by the genitals, oh, they love it, especially if you're a celebrity. Uh, when, when he denigrated the parents of a, 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 a young man who had died fighting for this country. I mean, and yet, and yet, so many people who otherwise were considered Democrats or would consider themselves liberal decided they just couldn't tolerate Hillary Clinton. You crazy fuckers. You crazy, misguided idiots. So you helped, along with the Russians and the Trump organization, get this bastard elected. And if that's you and you're still listening to this podcast, tough shit. If you don't like what I say, very simple. Don't subscribe. Or when this program comes on at 9 o'clock Eastern on the Progressive Voices Network, go listen to RT. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcasts. You have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.